Hello YouTube. Just had dinner and thought I'd do the last of these uh, these beers for the Italian mini series today. The sun is about to set, so I gotta be in a hurry. Uh, today's beer is gonna be Viva la Bira from uh, a very local brewery, actually residing here in Alborg, called Sugo. And a uh, special thing about it is that it's brewed together with an Italian brewmaster. Specially brewed for La Scala, which is a ballet and opera house, uh, visit here in Denmark, which was in October 2009. Got the info translated here. Um, the aroma and taste of this golden amber beer will immediately assign you to the beautiful Italy. This savor aroma of oregano and bay or oregano and basil with notes of clove, pepper, and bay comes from the delicate spices our guest brewer have brought from northern Italy. The taste is both rich and spicy, with a refreshing bitterness which makes this beer a superb companion to the Mil Milanese cuisine. Viva la Bira is, uh, is brewed together with Agostino Arioli, head brewer and owner of Birificio Italiano, and is brewed and is brewed for the visit from the famous Milanese Ballet and Opera House, La Scala's visit to Alburg. Since there is no special Italian beer style, we chose to invite Italy's most renowned brewmaster to our brewery uh, to add an authentic Italian flavor to this special beer. Don't know about it, but it's it's a spiced beer, and I don't really know if it's an ale or a, a lager, because I couldn't really found, uh, find out anywhere online. Pretty irritating. Well, let's crack it open. It's on 6% alcohol by volume. This is a half a liter of one pint bottle. That smells like a lot like uh, uh, basil. That, that cat there. Let's pour it. Well, uh, this is going to be my first beer to review from this local brewery. I'm using a tumbler. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, uh, I've as far as I'm concerned, the brewery only brews very mediocre beers. They have one beer called Tornheit Skunk, which is, which is amazing. Okay, yeah, as they said in the uh, description, definitely a golden amber color, maybe orange, with a, a slightly tan head. Looks quite frothy. Looks actually quite good. Let's check out the aroma on this one. It smells a whole lot like basil. Wow, a lot of basil in the aroma. Also the oregano. But it, the, the aroma is overpowered by basil in my opinion. You can also get an amount of malt, but it's not much at all. It sort of smells like a pizza, uh, or not, not really pizza, but pizza spice. And it's pizza spices, but pizza spices. But let's check out the flavors of this beer. <laughs> okay, doesn't taste like beer at all. It tastes like spices. Well, there is some beer in it. Ton of basil. Also the oregano. Not really the pepper, and not clove. Quite dry. Medium body. This is a very different and unique beer. It's not like drinking pizza. <laughs> this is very strange. Mmm. Okay, the overall flavor is very spicy. There's a lot of basil. Some oregano. There is sort of the pepper is more in the aftertaste. And there is some malt as well. And I just get a very faint citrus note from the hops. But the spices in this beer are very, very dominant. And maybe too much for my palate, because I'd rather eat my pizza than drink it. <laughs> um this is a very unique beer. 
Um, it's very different. Yeah, that's all I can really say. Uh, a very spiced beer tastes a lot like pizza spices. Um, I'm sort of thinking this is an ale. I'm not sure because I've never really seen it. It's a bit cloudy. It's a cloudy golden ale, and I've never seen a cloudy uh, lager. So <laughs> I'm guessing it's a, an ale, um, a spiced ale. It's, a, it's it's not bad at all. It's very drinkable, and it's actually sort of refreshing in a weird way. Uh, I would imagine actually that was be this would be quite good with spicy food <laughs> or pizza. <laughs> and, but it, it's fairly good. Uh, rating wise, well, it's not the best beer in the world, but it's worth checking out. So I'm gonna rate it a, a sixty. Uh, it's a uh, above or a good beer, uh, above average, um, is worth checking out because it's very, very different. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's not available in your area, except if you're from Denmark. But if you ever get the chance, check it out. It's it's a different, unique, special beer. The Viva la Bira from uh, Sugar Sporkus here in my hometown of Olbo. Um Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my other reviews, comments, subscribe if you like my videos as well, always, and I'm gonna say cheers, and I'll see you in the next beer review.